Welcome to Blender Cinematic Short Tips video. In this video, I'll be discussing how to solve unexpected transform and scaling issues uh, when using curve modifier in Blender. Understanding curve modifier is very important when creating paths for animating objects such as car animations. Let's go ahead and delete this default cube. And then let's add a path under curve and let's scale the path. Let's tab into edit mode. Let's take the end control point and move it so that we have uh, a curve. And then let's add a plane. And to this we'll add an array modifier. And then let's change the fit type to fit curve. And then select the nerves path as the curve. And then to the same plane object, we're going to add a curve modifier. And then select the curve object as nerves path. And then we have the path actually taking the shape of the curve. So far, so good. Let's say we have created this and then we want to move the curve to a different location based on the project. And see, the first problem started. The plane object will not follow the curve. So let's apply all transforms. And once we do that, another problem pops up, which is the object scaling the plane is not at the same scale anymore. So let's back up a bit. Let's select the curve and then let's tap into edit mode. And then under item, we see mean radius, which is at one. Now let's go back into object mode. And then let's repeat the steps. Let's move the curve. And then let's apply all transforms. And then let's see what is happening in edit mode. See the mean radius has changed to 4.592 and this is somehow affecting the scale of the plane. And the way these things are related are under curve properties. there's curve deform and the radius tick box is checked. And if we uncheck that radius tick box, then the mean radius is not gonna affect the object scale. Now we have unchecked the radius box and automatically everything falls in place. Now let's rotate and we have a problem, but it's simply solved by applying all transforms. Now let's say we scale the curve. See, the plane object follows the curve perfectly. Let's say we want to have the origin to geometry and then scale. And once we are done with scaling, let's apply all transforms and the plane object follows the curve perfectly. The very important part is unchecking the radius under curve deform. And let's say we would like to extrude or move one of the control points so that we can edit the original curve. Even then, the plane object perfectly follows. Let's say we want to rotate again and apply all transforms and then it works. I spent countless hours trying to understand this concept and, want, and I wanted to share with you all as I feel this is a very important concept. 
Thank you for watching the video. I uh, hope you like the video and if you do, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel Blender Cinematic and see you next time. Thank you.